our channel, I'm Ebony. I'm Erica. In today's video, we're going to show you guys some of our go-to snack ideas to promote healthy hair growth. These snacks are good in general for your scalp and just hair health overall. Plus, you get a nice little sneak peek of what we like to eat because I feel like we don't show that in our yeah, videos. We really don't show it in our vlogs or anything, <laughs> so you just get to see, you know, what we like to eat. We love snacks because we're always snacking and plus snacks are good. They're easy to come up with. And they're good for your diet because, you know, to hold you over to your next big meal. So, um, yeah. And they're easy to just, snacks yeah. are just easy to start off if you're trying to get into a yeah. healthy eating routine anyway. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first I have these walnuts and these almonds. Now, nuts in general are really high in protein anyway. And if you don't know, protein is really good for your hair, keeping the hair strong and everything. But almonds are my favorite. They're one of my favorites to snack on. Almonds are high in vitamin E as well. And vitamin E is great for um, scalp and getting the blood circulating to get um, hair to grow. And it also fixes damaged hair. It's very reparative in nature. Yeah. So vitamin E is really great for that so it can fix your hair. But I like to get the unsalted almonds because they have like the salted ones. And you, know, you just be careful with that because they can really, the sodium content can really get you. And also rumor has it that if you eat these um, consistently, you can see results in about a month or two. I don't know, but yeah, I really like these, so yeah. Alright, next I have walnuts, which if you didn't know, walnuts are very high in zinc. And zinc is closely related to um, hair shedding, so um, if your hair sheds, it could be that you're not getting enough zinc in your diet. So walnuts are really great for that. I didn't know that either until I did some research, but yeah, walnuts are awesome. Alright, so next we have sunflower seeds, and um, we love sunflower seeds, but for those who don't know, sunflower seeds are packed with protein. And they are a good source of biotin. Biotin, mm -hmm. as you know, helps with hair growth and helps with um, thickness of the hair. So if you're trying to grow your hair to be thick, um, biotin helps with that. So I would like snack on these if you're, you know, aiming for that area. Um, also, we have both of them seedless. Yeah, animals, seedless. Yeah. I, I don't know if y'all do this. I do this. I, I do too. Those too. But I eat the ones with the shells. I eat the whole shell. I'm not trying to be spitting them out. I just eat the whole I, shell. Yeah, I don't know why. I know you're not supposed to because I think you can mess up your, I don't know, your insides or something. At least maybe that's what my mom told me. Maybe that's like a parent myth or something like that. But um, yeah, I eat them with the shells. So, so shells are healthy. Yeah. You have seedless too. Yeah. Comment below if you guys do that or maybe you're the only ones. But <laughs> we have options. Here. And next I have these raisins. Uh, raisins, I used to hate eating them as a kid. Same. Yeah, <laughs> we hated them. But now that I'm an adult, I took a liking to them. So um, these are like my go-to as well. But yeah, raisins, if you didn't know, are high in iron. And the relation between iron and your hair is that iron can uh, carry nutrients better to your scalp so that when the circulation does happen, the nutrients are there. But yeah, it's just like a carrier type deal and stuff. And it's uh, really good for your hair. You can eat these separately or you can put them in little baggies with um, walnuts and everything like I did with the walnuts and the sunflower seeds to create like your own little trail mix snacks or you can just um, put it in a bowl for everyone to share. But yeah, these raisins and everything else we just mentioned are really great for your hair. All right, so the next snack we have is Greek yogurt and we chose Greek yogurt because Greek yogurt is the one with the most protein and zinc. Mm -hmm. And as Ebony has said before, zinc is great for hair shedding. So uh, yeah, Greek yogurt can be a little sour, so you may want to add honey to yeah. it if you can't take the sourness. Also, there's a reason why Greek yogurt is used in hair masks. If you have been watching our videos, you would have seen that Ebony used it in her pumpkin hair routine, our pumpkin hair video. So um, yeah, Greek yogurt is great for the hair. All right, and last but not least are these carrots. Carrots are a beta carotene source that actually turns into vitamin A which then becomes that natural grease for your scalp. So it really um, keeps your hair moisturized and your scalp from getting dry, your hair from getting dry and brittle and then breaking off. If you eat these on a regular basis, you can start to see that natural shine coming through, that natural, like I said, that natural grease in your scalp. You can feel it and stuff. So I thought that was really cool. Um, with carrots, I don't eat them by themselves. I usually dip them in something. I like to eat them with peanut butter and cream cheese because it actually used to be a snack that I ate in preschool and I still remember the taste from it. And I just like that combination of the peanut butter and cream cheese. But anyway, peanut butter is good for your hair too because peanut butter is high in protein. Um, cream cheese is also good. Low fat cream cheese. Low fat cheese is actually really good for your hair as well. I would say that low fat cottage cheese is also the healthier option for your hair. But Let's be honest, it's an acquired taste. Yeah. It really is. I, it's just, yeah. Taste. I just stick with the little fat cream cheese and everything as part of the dip. But yeah, those are our 
snack options. That's all we have. You know what I mean? Y'all get to look into what we eat. I mean, they're pretty easy. Yeah. They're not really anything you have to do a whole bunch of prep for. And it's stuff that you can mix in with um, yeah. any other snacks that you have. Like she said, you can make trail mix. Again, with yogurt, you can mix with granola and honey. Yeah. So you don't have to eat it just by itself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're just easy to pick up and everything. You probably have some in your cupboard now, so. Yeah. Pantry. Cabinet? Cabinet. <laughs> Nobody says cupboard. You cover. I'm like, what? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. that's all for our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment below. We like reading your comments. We like talking to you guys. Yeah. So don't forget to subscribe yeah. if you want more hair videos because they will be coming. So if you are looking for our channel to like, you know, help with your hair and everything, our channel's the one. So subscribe below and turn on those notifications. And we'll see you guys on Sunday for another video. Bye! Bye.